Hey Gemini, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your bonus reading for this week. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, we have Temperance, Eight of Cups, Ten of Wands, The World, Page of Swords, Seven of Wands, Emperor, and the Fool with the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So there could be some tensions or frustrations going on right now with you and someone that you have either uh, walked away from or maybe there's some sort of distance here. I feel like somebody has started a new journey um, and it's not coming without its challenges. So I feel like if you are on the verge of starting a new chapter in your life or you're making some sort of movements or you're doing something here that requires time patience energy strategy um honestly this is the perfect time to take care of yourself during the process because i get the feeling gemini that some of you are really having to work hard you're exerting yourself you know physically mentally um emotionally i feel like you might be creating some sort of distance between you and a person in order to focus on this new chapter and this journey that you're on i also feel like you might be um you might have distance from a person here and it's causing extra weight on your shoulders or it's causing extra, um, you know, like resistance between you and, you know, your normal effortless, like happy-go-lucky self. So I just kind of feel like you're finding your way through a situation here where either you're defending yourself against a person or there's a distance between you and someone that is making you have to maybe step up and take care of things on your own where normally you had some help or normally you could rely on on a person here so i just sense that this ten of wands in this world is kind of showing up as you know this is not an easy thing you can't do everything on your own and some of you don't want to but it's almost like you have no other choice because there's a chapter here there's a cycle that's opening up that's beginning for you and it's you know you have all the responsibility or it's almost like you have to make sure that it goes well for some of you you might be closing out a cycle and so there's a lot of things you have to do in order for that to be successful so you might have a lot of you know things on your plate and weight on your shoulders but i see you kind of being strong at this time for some of you you could also be taking on a new um, leadership position you know whether it's at work or maybe in your life you're becoming the head of something you know the head of the household or um, I just see you at the top here and that might be what's causing you to feel like you have to defend yourself for some of you if you are kind of taking this more leadership position I see you having to defend yourself against people that think you can't do the job For so for some of you it's almost like you're you're like super qualified right like you're the you're the person for this job you are you know, the man with the plan, regardless of what your gender is. The point is, you have been appointed with this position, but there's still somebody here that has the nerve to, you know, trigger you or challenge you or make you stand up for yourself, even though you know what you're capable of. So for some of you, I'm also getting that. So there could be some sort of immature energies around you um, while you have all these things going on. It's almost like you have no time for that. You just want to focus on getting things done. Because I feel like you have a long list of things to do, you know, maybe a long list of priorities. Um, and so I feel like there's just kind of like a juvenile energy around you making it difficult and more difficult than it has to be. With the Fool and the Page of Swords, some of you need to take a leap of faith on something here that you've been having your eye on for a while, whether this is a person, a project, um, a job or a business some of you have been doing your research you've been looking at something you've been really keeping your eye on it to see how it changes you know what you need to know what what how are you going to be prepared to take this chance and some of you are ready to do it but you just need to take the leap you need to finally say okay i'm gonna go after this i have everything i need because i've looked for the information i've done the research i have prepared myself i've become a student for this and some of you are ready to take the chance on something so for those of you that are trying to start a business or you want to, you know, go into a specific field or maybe you want to take a leap of faith and, and you know, ask someone out or whatever it is that used to scare you. Now I feel like you're absolutely prepared. It's just a matter of taking that jump, not being afraid of what could go wrong, but just focusing on what can go right, you know. Uh, with the Eight of Cups and the Temperance, some of you have been dealing with a situation here where there was a separation, there was some sort of distance or a loss um, between you and a person. 
and you still haven't fully you know gotten over it or you still haven't fully processed it i think sometimes it's impossible to completely get over things so i hate saying that but i just feel like some of you are still giving yourself time to either mourn a separation mourn a loss or just deal with life after this distance that has been created between you and someone very close to you so with that i just want to say give yourself grace um time may heal all sometimes it doesn't but it will heal to some extent so keep that in mind as you're going through those days or those moments of sadness where you can't help but just feel that overwhelming pain from this separation so just give yourself grace give yourself um you know the the space to feel what you feel don't hide it don't ignore it don't avoid it let it in and just process it on your own time don't feel rushed to get through something don't feel rushed to heal from something because you think you have to do it quickly in order to keep moving on with your life you can take care of things and live your life and still at the same time go through this process of healing and recovering from something so i feel like some of you needed to um hear that you know don't put extra pressure on yourself if you are going through this difficult time it's hard already right uh, with the five of wands i do want to say um here with with this card um there is an underlying theme of an internal conflict so i'm seeing a few different messages here so you know you pick which one resonates with you but for those of you that are maybe dealing with all of these things at once don't put extra strain on yourself in trying to fix everything or deal with them all at the same time make it easy for yourself go through a process where you're able to tackle one thing at once if you are at work and you're dealing with a situation that's frustrating tackle that when you can if you're at home and you're dealing with a situation that's frustrating, tackle that when you can. Don't be in one place and think about a situation that has nothing to do with that while you're there. Some of you need to re reduce that stress because I feel like it's causing other issues. So some of you are dealing with stress and it may be affecting your, you know, your physical health, your mental health. So just remember to, you know, be patient with yourself um, through this time. All right. Let's clarify the Seven of Wands. Wow. All right. Eight of Swords. Yeah. For some of you, this stress, these feelings that you're um, experiencing right now, they're very internal. It's very um, indicative of like self inflicted, self limiting, right? It's these thoughts that we create in our own mind that make things harder than they have to be. Because honestly, Gemini, I think that things are gonna get so much easier um, with time. It's, it's almost like this is the only, um, it's like this has been the hardest week in a long time. And it could be because of all these, you know, ast astrological events, right? We have Pluto in retrograde, we have Mercury in retrograde, we have the lunar eclipse in Scorpio, we have, um, I mean, who knows what else? There's there's probably a bunch of more things going on. But basically, with all of those things happening, this could be the hardest time, not because of you, but because in general, there are things going on that are outside of our control. But I sense that things are going to be moving very quickly in the direction that is going to be opposite of what's currently going on now. So for those of you that are dealing with miscommunication, misunderstandings, frustrations, um, stagnant energies relationship issues all of that is going to turn around 360 very quickly we have the eight of wands ace of cups page of wands and the wheel of fortune things are going to change very soon do not let this temporary situation be your reality um, for the future because i feel like things are moving very quickly in a positive direction you just have to remain open to these changes some of you maybe when you go through difficult times you have a you have trouble accepting that it can change it's almost like you become fixed on what's going on and you don't break out of that so some of you need to remember there is still open territory there is still a foreign land for you to discover once you you're cleared you know away from what's currently blocking you or what's currently you know making you feel stressed and worried once these things are resolved there's still a whole other world out there for you to discover there's still things that can be changed that can be improved and the wheel of fortune is just confirming gemini this is not a permanent situation this is a temporary situation with permanent solutions the the wheel of fortune is going to turn in your favor very soon do not be discouraged by this current um you know wave of difficulties that you have 
Um, with the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Wands, um, some of you are also dealing with a situation where you're waiting for someone to reach out to you. Maybe it has to do with this Eight of Cups for those of you that are in separation from somebody. Um, some of you are waiting for some communication for this block, this you know, distance between you and a person to be no longer, and it's coming through. Ace of Cups is a new chapter, new beginning in love. Someone is going to reach out after some time of not reaching out, and it's going to relieve you of this feeling. Is it done for good? Is Are they really, you know, walking away forever? Some of you are going to get this new uh, message here from someone, and it's going to open up your perspective and make you realize, okay, you know, maybe I shouldn't jump to conclusions. Whew. Okay, Gemini, I'm losing my breath here. Honestly, I just feel like this is a, a difficult week. Not an impossible week, just a difficult one. But I see you overcoming it. And honestly, it's just a matter of keeping your head up and remembering that this is not forever. This is temporary. And for those of you that are defending yourself, keep defending yourself because eventually I have a feeling that this person that is testing you isn't going to have the chance to do so um, after some time here. So I really hope that this was helpful and I hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.